G'day and welcome to the Hot End Channel. What you're looking at is my Creality K1 Max that I purchased in January 2024 and it's now November 2024 and it's been working beautifully, absolutely fantastic until... This occurred four times in a row. So obviously I have a, a blockage in my hot end somewhere. So off I go searching around to try and figure out how to fix it. I get onto Creality's shop. They don't have any in stock in Australia. So I buy this one. It's called the Unicorn Ceramic Hot End kit or some such uh, I had to purchase this because apparently the warranty on the Creality machine was only three months and this didn't start until nine months so then I set about fitting said new device now there are lots of videos on YouTube on how to do this and they're much better than mine, so I'm skipping through this rather quickly. Uh, it's never as easy as it looks on YouTube videos, unfortunately, especially since my 70-year-old pudgy fingers don't sort of move as well as they used to. So here I am pulling things to bits. I found those wire plugs a nightmare, and... I had to pull the whole thing apart, the extruder, the hot end, everything that you can see, and replace it with the new part. So I'll just let you watch this go through for a while with a bit of music, and I'll be back in a sec. Those of you that have had an early model K1 Max will know exactly what I'm doing here because no doubt you would have pulled your own uh, extruder and hot end apart many times to fix the clogs. It's obviously a known issue on the early machines. So I guess I was a little disappointed that Creality didn't reach out to all those people that bought the machine uh, and provided the the uh, hot end changeover kit free of charge but uh, they didn't and so it's cost me an extra whatever it was 80 odd dollars Australian to buy the part and and to put it in so after it was all put in and back up and running I started that same print again so just a quick time lapse to show you that yes indeed it is flowing beautifully that nozzle certainly made a huge difference and the fact that it's a quick change nozzle even though it's a proprietary one which are a bit expensive it does make life a bit easier if you're changing nozzles now this is the finished product and you'll see i did it on one of those patterned uh, beds and you can see how the pattern has come through on that PLA print. 
So, yeah, it looks rather good, I think. Anyway, that's all I've got for you for this video. Take care. See you in the next one.